It was just announced recently that Black Panther has just scored a huge glut of Academy Award nominations, with seven in total. One less than The Dark Knight ten years ago. <laughs> and the first superhero film ever to score that elusive Best Picture nomination. And inevitably, with that news came the angry trolls and fanboys, ranting and raging about how Black Panther is not deserving of a Best Picture nomination, listing all the superhero films that came prior that they feel should have been the first, talking about how Black Panther is a decent film, but nowhere near the same level as its fellow nominees. At first, I tried to ignore it, but then the negativity towards Panther was so ubiquitous that I felt compelled to respond with some points on just how Black Panther became the first superhero film to be in the running for Best Picture. Number 1 the cast and crew. One of the big talking points is how Panther received unfair favoritism from the film industry due to the fact that it's a blockbuster film with an all-black cast. It has even extended to the film's success on the award circuit, that it's only getting nominations and wins because it has heaps of black people in it. Personally, I find this ridiculously insulting to creatives of color. Did Moonlight win Best Picture because it was a story about a gay black man? Did 12 Years a Slave win Best Picture because it was about a black man? Were Lion, Selma, Beasts of the Southern Wild, were all these films nominated because they had non-white people leading them or behind them in some way? Of course not. It's because the Academy, a body of tons of voters, saw merit in them. Merit worthy of reward that maybe you didn't see. Number 2. Oscar Campaigns I have always said that the Oscars, and really most award shows like it, are akin to an election rather than a talent contest. Studios behind films are like political parties, finding the best candidate that they feel they can mount a serious campaign behind to claim the gold. Marvel slash Disney has never felt like it has had that kind of a candidate in its 10 years of churning out films within the Marvel Cinematic Universe framework. And now finally they have one. They have a film that has cinema goers rejoicing, critics purring, analysts approving, has a lot of social relevance, everything a film that can mount a serious Oscar campaign needs. And so they did, and probably had the resources to sink more money than most studios, and their investment paid off. It might rankle with some, but it's how every studio plays the game. Even a cinephile's precious A24. Number 3. The Environment No, not THE environment, though that's important too, but the environment of 2018 Hollywood. We were coming off one of the biggest movements to ever erupt with the Time's Up and Me Too campaigns, and Black Panther has plenty of strong female characters. That's one. A lot of the other Oscar films had elements about them that turned off voters to their brilliance or just couldn't garner enough number one votes to score nominations. That's two. If you're wondering what I mean by number one votes, well, that's the interesting rub. Apparently, according to Academy voting rules, films and individuals that qualify for nominations have to get a certain quota of votes in the number one slots of each category they are running for. So a film like, say, Hereditary, which seems to be a favorite example for jilted films this past year, might have actually shown up on a lot of voters' lists for Best Picture, but sadly not enough times in the number one slot to guarantee a nomination. It's why there rarely ever are ten nominees. So. As hard as it may be to believe, 
Black Panther did score the requisite number of number one votes to score that Best Picture nomination. Now, you can argue till you're blue in the face about whether it was just favoritism or not, but Panther ran the same race and jumped the same hurdles as every other film, and in the end, got on the podium. In conclusion, Black Panther is now a Best Picture nominee. This is an incontrovertible fact. Did it deserve to be nominated? I really don't care. What I do care about is that it is a great film that spoke to me in a way that a lot of films fail to do. Maybe not criteria for a nomination, sure, but then again, I'm not the Academy.